What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. The final faction rally for Season 3 in Destiny 2 is in the books, and like many people thought, New Monarchy is victorious. Makes sense given that Dead Orbit and Future War Cult had won the previous two faction rally events. If you pledge to New Monarchy, you can get this broadsword rocket launcher for the very low price of 100 Glimmer, and no matter how you feel about it, it makes sense to buy it for that cheap of a price. If anything, you'll get a Masterwork Core from it. The real question though is, if you were pledged to Dead Orbit or Future War Cult, is it worth the price of admission? Because this will set you back 50,000 Glimmer to get it at that price. Long story short, in my opinion, it's not worth that hefty of a price tag, and I'll get into the reasons why. So this rocket launcher, it's a very well-rounded rocket launcher. You can see there from the stats in the bottom right, most of these are, there's none that are extremely high, but most of them are, are decent enough. That's kind of one of the drawbacks though. It doesn't have the, the signature piece to it that makes it worth using over other legendary rocket launchers, especially in the blast radius side. Now there are ways you can bump up that blast radius. If you look at the, the first perk column, you can pick the volatile launch, which will bump up that blast radius quite a bit. You do lose some velocity, Stability and handling also go down. That's not as big of a deal as losing the velocity, but I still think it'd be worthwhile to bump it up, have extra blast radius. On the other side, you could bump up everything else and have the blast radius go down a little bit. So my opinion, I would go a volatile launch. I'd always want to have a bit higher blast radius, especially if you're using this in the Crucible. Looking at the second column, you can also get another boost, another slight boost to the blast radius if you use high velocity rounds. So I would pick that over implosion rounds, and I think that this one's better to use. Now, you could stay with implosion rounds and have a more controlled explosion, but I think getting that little extra boost to blast radius is good. The reload speed is not as big of a deal, because like I mentioned, it does have the cocoon perk from Destiny 1. If you holster this weapon, it'll reload itself. That's a good thing to have for PvE doesn't particularly benefit you in PvP at all because you only start with one round anyway. So you're not going to notice that much in PvP at all. Hence the reason that this rocket launcher, even though it's well-rounded, it's mainly geared towards PvE. Now, overall, in my opinion, this is not worth using over a lot of the other rocket launchers. Number one, if you have Sins of the Past, obviously that's a much, much better choice to use. You may not have this weapon though, but you may have some other ones that are pretty good. Scipio D has that max blast radius, which is great. It also has the cocoon perk too, so you, you're not losing anything there. But even weapons like Blue Shift or Curtain Call, those are also better options, in my opinion, over the Broadsword Launcher. Now, depending on how lucky you get, this does come as a masterwork when you buy it the first time. I kind of got unlucky and mine was reload speed, which doesn't make much of a difference at all, especially because it has that auto-loading holster. But you can get a Masterwork that does bump up the blast radius a little bit. Even if you do get that Masterwork though, it's still not maxed out like Blue Shift and Scipio DR. So even at its best, I don't think this rocket launcher is quite up to the par of some of those other rocket launchers. And if you're not if you're not going to use a exotic in your heavy weapon slot, you really want that weapon to be have no drawbacks. And unfortunately, in my opinion, the broadsword launcher does have some drawbacks. That said though, the, the default paint scheme is really, really cool. So if you are all about having a cool looking weapon, this does fit that bill. In my opinion though, if you didn't pledge to New Monarchy, I would steer clear of picking up this rocket launcher and that's how I feel. Let me know in the comments how you feel. If you're happy with this rocket launcher, let me know. Let me know who you pledged with. Most importantly though, thanks for watching and we will all catch up soon.